we're going to call a special call meeting to order. Wednesday, November 7, 2007, right at um, 7, 10 p.m. Councilwoman Bell is present. Um, Councilwoman Wallman and Councilman Porter. This evening we'll have the invocation by Pastor David Cleland from New Beginning Christian Fellowship will offer tonight's invocation. And he is the mayor-elect pastor, so welcome. Pastor, pastor, you want to use the mic? Yeah. We'll make it more of a habit so you get used to it. <laughs> All right, let's pray together. Our Father, as these proceedings begin, we ask for your blessing. Lord, we're thankful that we live in a nation where elections are free and where these kinds of choices are made by the people of the various communities. Father, we're thankful for individuals who will submit themselves to this process and then who will serve faithfully and honorably with diligence and uh, integrity. Lord, we're thankful for a community such as ours, which has a future that is so bright that all of us uh, look forward to it every day, week by week, month by month. Now, Lord, the voting is in. It's time for the work to begin. Would you lead? Would you guide? Would you protect? Uh, would you uh, grant wisdom to those who will take office tonight? And would you guide them in the decisions that they will make? And may those decisions lead us towards being an even better community than we have been. We thank you again for this blessing that uh, you have allowed us as we pray in your name. Amen. 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 We've had roll calls. We move on to item four, which is the receipt of the certification of election results. Mayor, the um, item is in your packet for the record. Um, it will be submitted to the uh, Dade County Department of Elections and no further action is required. It's just here for the record. Thank you, sir. We don't have to certify it. No, sir. Okay, that was un you. under the old charter and it's not necessary anymore. Okay. Any final comment, Mr. Porter, before we sign it on? Well, I just maybe just a couple of comments, Mayor. I just want to uh, congratulate uh, the incoming and newly elected officials. You guys are worked really hard for this and, and deserve it. And um, I have all the faith in the world in your abilities. Where is Mr. Burgess? Mr. Burgess is hiding. There he is, Mr. Burgess. Uh, you, you guys have you guys have earned this position, and um, I think you know we're leaving it in very very. This is a normal thing. <laughs> That's, that's why we're building a new building. <laughs> but I, I do want to I do want to say to the staff and and Mr. Ivan, I'm going to call you Kurt because you're my friend first and you're the manager second and Marlene and Mike and Al Chief. Uh, the rest of the staff, you guys are fantastic. I know you got young. When I say young, I mean young and young and experienced, not young in age. But you've got young and experienced people coming on board, and they're going to need all the support that you guys can give them and all the support that you've given me in, in my 10 years of service up here. And um, I really enjoyed it. I've really learned a lot from it. I, I've gotten more out of the position than I've given to it. It's really been an, an education for me on all fronts. <clears throat> and, um, you know, serving with... Roscoe Warren for 10 years and Judy Wallman for six years and Linda Bell for four years. It's really been a um, it's really been a blessing to me and I know you'll you'll all get the same out of it and you get out of it. You'll have a lot of you'll 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 really have to work hard at this. This is a really eye opener when you get up here. You think it's one or two meetings a month. It's like one or two meetings a week. Sometimes it's four meetings a day and. Um, 
but you'll be good at it. You'll be great at it. And, uh, and I, I'm very proud of the, my contribution to the city over my 10 years and, and the mayor's contributions over his 26 years. 26 years. I think that um, we'll, we'll be able to be looked back on in, in later years as laying a really solid foundation for this community to continue to strive and to grow on, as you guys will when you take office and you all leave your legacies in place as well. And um, I just wanted to thank everybody for the years of support that, that they've given me in, in re-electing me into this office a few times. Um, and and I just, I've just been, it's just been a pleasure. And I love this community. And anything that I can do in the future, to the future mayor and the future leadership, um, I'm not going to change my cell phone number. It's going to be the same. So. <laughs> I'll be, I'm willing to do anything I can do to help to, to better this community. And congratulations to you all, Ms. Bell, Linda, Mayor, Mayor to be. Um, congratulations to you personally. Uh, Thank you. I am very proud of the election that you ran, and I know you really, really worked hard at that. I've, uh, it's been, I think, 10 weeks of, I'm going to use the H word, but I think it's been 10 weeks of hell for this community. And, uh, and I know that everybody's ready for it to be over with, and it's time for it to be over with. The city needs to do, as the, as the pastor said, get back to work. And um, thank you, everyone. It's, it's, been a, it's been my honor, my absolute honor, to serve in this capacity and, and to serve with, with such uh, quality staff. Kurt, you need to be commended for the people that you surrounded yourself with, and, and I can't forget Joe and Richard from the attorney's office. Phenomenal, but enough said with me. Um, thank you very much, very, very much. I've enjoyed every minute of it, and all of that is the truth. Thank you very much. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you for support. Thank you for support. Well, gosh, how do you follow that? I'm leaving. You don't want to follow me. I'm leaving. <laughs> You got the last word. <laughs> um, we're gonna miss you, Jeff. I, miss I, you. I, I, you know, but you live around the corner, yeah. so. I'm not going anywhere. I know where to find you. <coughs> and um, you're not going anywhere, so you'll still be here to serve the city as you've always Thanks, done, man. even before the ten years that you've served on council. So we know where you are. We'll certainly call on you, and um, we'll miss you. I'll miss. I'll miss having you up here. But to the, to the new council, I just want to say congratulations, Linda. Well deserved. Thank you. Very well deserved. Very well. I have to say, Linda ran such a clean, honest campaign. And at the end of the day, it proved to be the right thing. Not to shoot it To Vice Mayor Burgess. <laughs> Congratulations. I, I don't know how long it's going to take for him to get used to being called that. <laughs> he was just looking around. But congratulations, you two. Job well done. Clean, honest campaign, and as well as the rest. Uh, Nazi, congratulations. We had a good time hanging out together at the polls, <laughs> keeping each other entertained. Where the voters didn't come out and vote once again. 15,000 registered voters, and what did we have? 2,500 votes cast? About 2,500 votes cast. Wendy, congratulations to you. 
Um, you live around the corner too, so I'll be seeing you a lot as I walk my little dog. And Melvin, I haven't had a chance to get to know you very well, but congratulations on such a terrific um, win, a big win. And I look forward to working with you and, and getting to know you better. And I can't end this without saying I'm going to miss my brother here. <laughs> I know we had his goodbye at uh, the last meeting, but this is the most honest, kind man that you will ever, ever, ever know in your life. And it's been my honor to serve under you for six years. And Linda, you, you fill a big seat here. You have big shoes to fill, but I know you can do it. So congratulations. Well, let me say my parting remarks. The mayor-elect will, will end this, but um, the people spoke on yesterday in a very big way. And it was a historic day yesterday. First female mayor in the history of the city since 1923. And I think Linda will share with you all about two years ago, I had a conversation with Linda and I told her that she would be the first female mayor in the inner city homestead. It did. Um, sure. And it happened. Um, but to John and to Wendy and Nazi and um, Mrs. McCormick, the whole team, you guys did an outstanding job. You ran a beautiful campaign. You spoke well, you had a vision, and you campaigned on that vision, and that's what the people wanted. And it worked for you yesterday. Congratulations. But more importantly, there's so many people in this community over the last 26 years that kept me straight. And I'd like to recognize a few that are here. Um, I have a very good friend, and she and I have been together for the last four years. Ms. Ramonita Ford, would you please stand? I'm hoping that this Thanksgiving that we will have a turkey that is not burnt. <laughs> It's not going to happen. Man. And the fire truck doesn't come and all that stuff. That's a true story. <laughs> but my campaign manager for the last 26 years, college mate, friend, very close friend, Captain Robert Turner, would you raise your hand, sir? And his significant other, Esther Hamlet. Esther? Now, many of you know that when I first ran in 1981, 26 years ago, it was my mother that encouraged me to run. And although she's no longer with us, I know that she's looking down and said, son, a job well done. And to the community here of Homestead that embraced me for the last 26 years, you're beautiful people. You've been my heart and soul and my love for this last 26 years because I really did it for you all. 26 years out of my life is like half my life. I've devoted, I've devoted to this community with love. And I really enjoyed it. It was a wonderful journey, a beautiful journey. From the hurricane, to the financial disaster, to the rebuilding, to the overbuilding and some people's perspective. 
but we're here today, and I consider this a new beginning. We have a new mayor with a vision, and a team that's been elected yesterday that's going to come forth and going to move the city forward and in a new direction. And this was time for change, and the people said so in yesterday. So I want to personally thank the 2,500 that took the time out to come and vote. And if there's anything we need to do in this community is to encourage our citizens to be engaged, to get involved, to be part of this process. Because I truly worry about where we're going tomorrow when you have such few that makes the decision for jobs that are so important for the future direction of this city. So let's work together to make a difference. And I'm going to do everything I can to support Mayor Bell and the team, and to be out there in the community and encouraging them to support the mayor and her team. And I think that we all join hands, because they're going to have some difficult days ahead. Some difficult days with tax uh, reformation and other issues confronting this community and this county and this state that they're going to need our support. But again, I want to thank this community for your love, your support over the last 26 years. Many have asked me, will I miss it? Of course I'll miss it. I've been here 26 years. But I've had two years to prepare for it, and I'm prepared tonight to say job well done to the manager and his team. Um, job well done to our city attorney and all that they've done over the last 26 years. They're one of the first class firm that I've known and been associated with for the last 26 years. You can't find a better legal firm than Weiss mm -hmm. Thank you, Richard and Joe and the whole team. Um, Kurt Ivey and Marlene and um, uh, Chief Rowe. 50 years of friendship. Thank you, sir, for, for, your, for your guidance and your support over the years. I won't forget it. Mike Shahada, Marlene, Marcy, we've been there through it all, and um, I appreciate what you all have done. I'm Patty Sullivan, and some of the ones that are elected, you'll have an opportunity to work with Patty. She's a wonderful, she's a beautiful lady. Um, our city clerk, Sheila, Sheila Shedd, is just absolutely uh, a remarkable, phenomenal woman and a hard work and a professional. And you all will get to meet these people and they will support you in any way they can to help you succeed. But again, thank you all, God bless you, I love all of you, and let's support Mayor Bell and the team. Thank you, God bless you. A motion for sine die. Can I say uh, something for just a second? No. Sure. No. Uh, I found myself getting a little bit emotional tonight. Usually I don't have elected officials that I serve with for such a long time. They sort of come and go. But I wanted to, and I say this to all the people that are in here and not here, it's been such an honor for us to represent you. Um, in many communities, we are not treated with the kind of respect that we get in Homestead. Um, and in some communities, we have left because I was embarrassed as to what was said on, these, on, the, you know, on the cable, and people didn't treat us with respect at all. And what I want to thank you for, Jeff and the mayor and the others that are not here, is the way that you may have disagreed with us, you may not have thought with the advice that we were, you didn't maybe go your way, um, but the respect that we have here means a, means a tremendous amount to us. And we come every day, and this is our job, and we do do a living, but it is such a pleasure for us to come down here and to represent you. I cannot tell you. And so I will miss you. 
on behalf of Susan and all the others, James and all the other people from our firm, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Motion for Sunny Dye. Move. Moved by Mr. Ford. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Waldman. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? Did I get the
former Nazi Wendy to represent them. Now you have a duty and responsibility to support. Thank you. Can you raise your right hand? I repeat your name. I am Mr. Harris. You solemnly swear or affirm. You solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the state of Florida. And the state of Florida. And will obey the laws. And will obey the laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of the state of Florida. And of the state of Florida. And I will. And I will. In all In all respect. In all respect. Observe the provisions. Observe the provisions. Of the charter, of the charter, and ordinances, and ordinances of the city of Homestead, of the city of Homestead, and will faithfully discharge, and will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of councilwoman, councilman, the duties of the office of councilwoman, <laughs> on which I am about to enter, on which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. You may be seated. everyone. Thank you so much for coming. This is a great day. This is a great evening. It's very, very historic in many, many ways. The fact that, as the mayor so appropriately stated, the voters have spoken. And the voters spoke and the voters stated that they want change and we're going to give it to them. We're going to be a very responsive council. And what I would like to do, first of all, is just thank everybody for coming tonight. Thank you for your participation. This is beautiful seeing these chambers filled like this. I want to say thank you, first of all, to my husband, who's in this audience somewhere. My husband is the very first first man in the city of Homestead. <laughs> I want to compliment and congratulate the voters on their choice for council. I think they made very good and wise choices and I'm very pleased about the prospects of the future. But before I go into that, oh, my daughter and my grandchildren, where are they? They're here, too, because I heard one yell out, Nana. Nana, <laughs> My 20-year-old had to head back to uh, USF in Tampa first thing this morning. She had to get this back to school. Um, so what I would like to do is I'd like to start all the way over here on my left, your right. And I'd like Miss Sierra and Mr. Burgess to, to go ahead and give you guys a few words and then to my right and then I'll close. Miss Sierra? Good evening, everyone. This is an absolutely different view than every time I've been to council before. It looks completely different from up here. I first of all also have to thank my husband and my sons that are in the background for these last three months. It is amazing to me how much a, a spouse can really help you in achieving your visions and things that you want to do with your life and how they can back you up and it's just amazing. Thank you very much. Also, I want to thank everyone that supported me during my campaign. 
I am absolutely honored that the citizens of Homestead have selected me to represent them in council. And I am not, absolutely not, unaware of how close my race was, and therefore am hoping to work with Mr. Garot, where I, I know he's here somewhere. Uh, where is he? The voters also spoke for him as well, and I think that both of us together will be able to make, bring those changes. There's obviously something that we both were offering the citizens, and the citizens um, did come out and vote for us, and, and I'm very grateful for that. It, you know, yesterday was an extremely important election for the future of Homestead, and judging by the way the citizens voted, it is evident what you value. I have heard your voice. The time for change in Homestead starts tonight. We, uh, you know, we're ready to work. I'm ready to work with Mayor Bell and the new council. Better quality of life, better quality of schools, greater opportunities for employment, and most importantly, a council that works for and with the citizens of Homestead. And that's what I, I plan to do. Thank you again. <laughs> Mr. Vice Mayor? <laughs> Who's that? Let me first start by thanking my beautiful wife, Sherelle. Yay. She stood behind me and worked diligently for me, not just this time, but last time. And I want to thank my 23 new friends that I found this time to put me over the top. I don't know who you all are, but thank you very much for coming out and voting. I, too, am ready to go to work and, and work hard for the city of Homestead and, and pledge to keep the promises that I've made along the campaign trail to the best of my ability. Um, I think we've got a good team up here. We've got a long way to go, but I think we have the people in place to get us where we need to go. And uh, I'm just looking forward to it, and I'm ready for the next four years to make a difference. And uh, hopefully it will be a positive difference in everybody's eyes not just mine and my other people that I'm sitting with and my supporters. And I just am looking forward to, to, to going forward and making this city a, a great place to live for, for everybody. And I can't forget my companions from East Lake over there that have worked hard building signs and holding signs for me. So that's all I have to say tonight. I'd like to thank everybody that has supported me and I look forward to their support and help in guiding me through this four-year journey. So thank you very much. And Ms. Bell, congratulations. Good evening. I would like to thank God. First of all, first and foremost, I would like to thank God once again. And um, as I always said, I'm the rookie on this all-star team. So it's a lot of things I have to get used to. And I want to thank all my supporters, my family. Uh, they did a very, uh, they did an awesome job of helping me pull this campaign out. It was close. It was closer than I expected, but it was, it was close. And for all the people that support me once again, I have a lot of intentions on bringing some things to the southwest section that, have, that is not there as of now. And as of 10:15 last night, I was already working. So, believe me, when I say I'm going to do something, I'm very adamant about making change and doing what I say I'm going to do. And I'm very strong on what's right. I'm, you know, numbers. You know, they say numbers don't lie, but one thing about it, right is right and wrong is wrong. And once again, I'm very adamant about doing what's right. And once again, thank you to my family, uh, my fiance Patricia Fairclough. She did an outstanding job of helping me. <laughs> Now, my daughter, she back there, she helped me. She said she want to do it again next year. You know, so, but like I say, I'm very, very adamant about change, and that's what we need in the Southwest section. And I'm very happy to work with the new councilmen, uh, councilwomen, the mayor, the vice mayor, Mr. Burgess, Mr. Uh, Ms. Bell. So we're going to make some changes at home still for the community. And that's all, and I thank everyone again. Good evening, everyone. I usually don't write down anything. I just kind of speak from my heart and from my mind. But I knew I was going to get caught up in the importance and just the um, just this moment that is so special for me and for everyone out there as far as uh, bringing in a new council and a new mayor. So I did write something down. <clears throat> there are a few opportunities within our busy lives to really put a spotlight on the people that are so significant in our lives. 
So to start out, I would like to acknowledge my bunch. Um, my family, my mom, Linda Canty, who's here. Can you stand up for a moment, please? And very special uh, gentleman in my life, my 11-year-old son, Jelani Canty. And I see faces of old friends, I see new friends that I've met and uh, have made throughout this campaign, but I do want to acknowledge a couple of special friends that are here. Uh, he said that he knew me when I was a little person, so Willie Carpenter, Sonny Clayton, I would like to thank you for the support. Last night someone said to me that being part of the political process is part, being part of the American dream. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. I think that that's one of the special processes that you get to experience when you're in this country, whether you're voting or running for office. And I thankfully have the opportunity to run for office, and now I sit here as your councilwoman. I'm thankful and grateful to the people of Homestead. I am honored that you have chosen me to be your representation for the next four years. I look forward to working with Mayor Bell, Vice Mayor Burgess, and my fellow council people up here. And I'd like to just close by saying, um, telling you one of my favorite quotes by um, Robert F. Kennedy. He says, some men see things as they are and ask why. I dream of things that never were and say why not. Thank you. As uh, Councilwoman Lobos close with a quote, a quote, I'm going to open with one. One of my favorite quotes is, all that is needed for evil to prosper is for good men to do nothing. And I have chosen that we are going to do something. And we are going to make a difference in this council. And I'm very excited. I, I want to thank the mayor, Mayor Warren. I want to thank this council for the work that they've done. Mr. Porter, I want to thank all of you for the work that you've done and the contribution that you have given to this city and to this council and how much I appreciate each and every day, each and every hour that you have contributed to this city and it has not gone, un it has not gone unnoticed. I am going to get very busy right away and we're going to um, immediately bring forth the agenda that I think is the utmost importance to the citizens of Homestead. One of the things that I wanted to bring to this council when I was elected four years ago to this council as, as the vice mayor and then two years as councilwoman was the definition of public service. And you see, as, as councilwomen, as councilmen, and as mayor, we are servants. We are public servants. That is a true definition of politicians. It is not what I can get, but it's what I can give. And that is what we are here for, to serve you. And we are your servants. And I think Thank you for giving us the privilege and for the opportunity to allow us to serve you, first and foremost. We are going to begin the process of hiring the internal auditor immediately. I would like the auditor again to go back being in-house. I know we had a vote previously to um, be hired by a to hire a firm and contract that. I would like that position to be in-house once again, so we will be having a vote on that. I would like to get busy again. We had an ordinance already prepared when um, I brought forth the one-year temporary residential building moratorium on high-density projects only. I would like to get busy on that. I would also uh, will be bringing forth um, the community, um, our, our positions as we serve on this council as far as different committees. And we will be, um, I will be assigning all the different committee appointments and we'll be reassigning, well I'll be, we'll be assigning actually, everybody will be assigned a committee. And that's an exciting position and we'll be taking a look at how committees are assigned and the, and the different responsibilities of committees. I may add a few and I may subtract a few. We'll have to take a really good look at that. Also, um, I would uh, love to continue with the Mayor's Youth Council. I would like to reorganize it and restructure it a bit. And I would love the Mayor's Youth Council to be more of a, I think it's a wonderful idea and a wonderful contribution to the city. And I would like to see it more become a bit more of a service organization. So I'm going to work on restructuring the Mayor's Youth Council as well. Um, also, I have, um, I'm a very good friend of the gentleman who is the editor of the latest Roberts Rules of Order. And he um, works out of D.C. and lives in Virginia, and um, he is willing to, to come here and um, educate all of us on Robert's Rules of Order, and I thought that with uh, this being a very new council, that might be also in order with Robert's Rules of Order, so I will be um, looking to bring him here, and he basically has said just 
just pay my expenses and I'm coming. So we're very privileged to have the latest editor of Robert Souls of Order to come personally here and instruct us. So he said he would be more than happy to do that for me. Um, I want to thank every single one of you out there, not just for your vote. I want to thank you for your phone calls, your emails, your words of encouragement. Um, when you got mail pieces that were heartbreaking, you called me. Um, and I'm looking at many of the faces who called me on the phone and said, oh, that, that you were sorry about that. And I thank you for those kind and encouraging words that it meant so much to me that just to throw those aside and just rise above it and keep on going and keep on going. So I want to thank you for your support because I have to tell you, um, it gets tough under the lights sometimes. It gets tough. And with those encur with the encouraging words that I heard from each and every one of you and so many of you do not understand or do not realize how much you mean to me and how much the small words, don't worry about that. That means nothing. I threw it right in the garbage. It just things like that were so kind and meant so much to me. And let me tell you, this has been a hard, a, a lot of hard work, but it's been a great ride. It has been, I think that the political process, one of the best processes, especially the American process, is wonderful, it's challenging, there is nothing better than the political process. And I know you're sick of it um, as far as the, the election, but it's part of the process and I'm excited about it because it brings what you see here before you this evening. Um, I just want to thank you. Um, also, I think there's one thing I don't like to mess with too much, and that is the city's charter. But after seeing some of the things that have been happening and going on, I do think that we need to undergo some charter review once again and to begin to fix some of the problems that I did um, see in this last election cycle. I do think that if somebody resigns um, and gives up a portion of their term, that the resignation should be effective in enough time to allow somebody to actually run for that seat rather than the seat being appointed by the mayor. Not only is it a big responsibility for the mayor to appoint that, which is, the, which, which is okay, but I think that choice belongs to the voters. I think that's just part of the political process, and that's something that needs to be corrected in the charter. And just because something is allowed by state law doesn't necessarily make it right. So we're going to fix that as well. And there are a few other things that I think we need to work on. So with your support, and with your help, we're going to make a lot of wonderful, wonderful changes. And I am so excited about the prospect of serving you for the next two, four, six, whatever, years. And I am just delighted. I want to thank our manager staff as well as uh, Sheila. All my, all my wonderful friends, friends out there in the audience who helped me sit right here today because I couldn't have done it without each and every one of you. There's just no way possible. So I just want to say thank you and I just want to say may God bless each and every one of you. And I have always wanted to do this. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>